precipitate rain clouds and actually bring down lightning bolts. Really? Go ahead. Well, I, I, this is fascinates me in part because, too, I remember reading the stories that China had used this during the Olympics, that the USSR had used this after Chernobyl to create rain clouds. I mean, w did those really work then? We have some of these capabilities now? Inconclusive. Even in the 60s, the CIA used this to uh, bring down monsoons during the Vietnam War to wash out the Viet Cong. Governments have been playing with this to. thing. Alleged to. Alleged to, right. Yeah. Now, we realize that for decades now, these governments have been alleged to have experimented with weather control, but nothing conclusive. This time we're bringing in the laws of physics rather than simply uh, waving our hands and uttering mumbo jumbo. <laughs> We're actually using trillion watt lasers now. And in the laboratory, sure enough, they precipitate rain out of water vapor. Sure enough, you can actually bring down electricity down the, down the beam. Firing trillion watt lasers, you rip apart the electrons, creating what are called ions. And these ions act like seeds, like dust particles, bringing down rain and even lightning. He said it is what it is. Well, it is what it is because he is who he is. That's why it is what it is. All right, my friends, I'm going really quick with this one. So the whole world needs to turn their attention to the operations, the planned operations that were just executed over the Northeast states, okay? So the cover story is there's natural fires up in uh, Canada, and all the smoke came down and covered uh, New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut for days on end, okay? Fires are real. Cover story is false. Uh, it was a planned operation in geoengineering. Uh, they used geoengineering techniques that enabled all this. They created a synthetic cloud covering, right? They put, uh, they put on particulate matter into the 
atmosphere that is frequency conductive. They hit it with EMFs, the matter pulls together, sucks up all the moisture out of the environment, and it creates a synthetic cloud cover. Real clouds, synthetic cover. It's a mockery of the natural process of how clouds are formed, okay? Then they, they pumped and they layered aerosols all underneath that cover, trapped it, and maintained it for days on end. Our air quality index went over 400. That's not even heard of in the Cali fires or Montana fires, okay? So what the Northeast needs to know is that this they did this when they kept the temperature at 60 degrees. What happens when it's 100 degrees? 95% humidity and say a terroristic scenario like the power goes out. Complete chaos, unlivable environments, okay? They're going to capitalize on the crisis that they are um, that they are creating, okay? And what people around the world need to know that this is geoengineering. This is what it's being used for. It's very real. Borders aren't keeping you safe. This is going to come to you, okay? And they're going to keep doing this and capitalizing on crisis, okay? And people need to speak up about geoengineering now before it gets to a drastic point, okay? Speak up, please. Feel free to tell everyone that I'm the monster in your story. But please, don't forget to mention in which chapter you created. Busted our ass, and this is what we get. Nobody called us. Our phones didn't work from 5 in the morning. 10 o'clock when I went to work, the fire was still there. There was no water. Tell me if that's not coincidence. No water, no warning. And everybody talking about the satellite city before the fire. Lahaina going to be the first satellite city. Well, hey, Jeff Bezos, you got what you wanted. Oprah, you got what you wanted. And the guy who owns the nut, you got what you wanted. Fuck us all over. That's what happened. We need help in Lahaina. Who's going to come now and ask us, can I pray for you, Andy? Thank you. Can I help you with your paperwork? Because all we got so far was $700 and we don't know who to call or anything. It's culturally insensitive in that Fauci guy. What the f- that guy's an evil psychopath, mate, I'm telling you. That- that guy, right, I watched an interview with him where he was actually mocking people for thinking about wearing a mask. Saying that it's not going to protect you from anything. The droplets are minute, but it won't, they'll just get through the mask. And he was laughing and mocking at people. And then lo and behold, a month later, you've got to wear a mask. It's disgraceful if people don't wear masks. And it's everywhere. Mm. It's like someone's pushed a button on the mainstream media and every fucker is carpet covering it. Mm. This is why the media being controlled, there's literally four or five people that control it in the upper echelons of society. When you go that far, Black Rock, Vanguard, they control everything. This is why the they're not all coming up with different stories at different times. Everything's the switch of a button. It's all in continuity. Which at least some members of the media, some members of the media, some members of the media, some, some members of the media, media use their, their platforms to push their own personal bias, to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. This is truly dangerous to our democracy. Unfortunately, some members of the media, some members of the media, some members of the media, some, some members of the media use their, their platforms to push their own personal bias, to push their own personal bias and agenda to control exactly what people think. This is extremely dangerous to our democracy. Alexa, what happened five days ago between the United States Marine Corps and FEMA in Maui? From DanikBigyalloy.com. As reported Saturday, Marines caught FEMA operatives piling corpses into a mass grave site at the Maui Forest Reserve. This is the government support. So I'm done waiting for the government. Okay? I'm sorry, but fuck them and tell them, here, this is how it's done. The government blocked the entrance to Lahaina, where people from the other side of our island, Wairuku, Kahului, Kula, even Hana, were trying to get supplies to Lahaina, but they were blocked by the checkpoint. So I've been trying to get the government's help. No help at all. Fuck them. And tell them, yeah, this is how it's done. So there are 45,000 transmit receive modules, and this uh, antenna can detect an object the size of a baseball at a range of 2,500 miles. That is why I say this thing can project all that power into a pinpoint beam, totally computer controlled, the dome is 120 foot diameter. The power source is six 3.6 megawatt generators for a total of almost 22 megawatts. And this carp platform has a tow ship to move it around. So that 22 megawatts is not actually designed to go into the engines. That is designed to go into the transmitter unit. Uh, 
Other U.S. Navy ships have powerful microwave transmitters. This is the U.S. Navy ship Howard O. Lorenzen. It looks small, but it's actually 534 feet long. Each phase array, the boxes on the top of the deck, uh, is a phase array transmitter. Synthetic aperture radar, whatever you want to call it, weighs 250 tons. And there's a crew of 88 on board. This is a gigantic ionospheric heater, again. The people who survived the Lahaina fires were the ones that ran down the barricades and ignored the cops. They did not comply with what they were told to do, and they lived. There's a lesson in there somewhere. Let's talk about buttered sausage. Talk about buttered sausage, where it comes from, what it does. Why is it doing what it's doing? Get it out of my face. What about Butter? buttered, buttered sausage? That's not your jam. It's not your thing. You don't like it? It's not my jam. I don't buy jam. I buy honey, and I kiss it on the lips. We are bored. We're all bored now. But has it ever occurred to you, Wally, that the process that creates this boredom that we see in the world now may very well be a self-perpetuating, unconscious form of brainwashing created by a world totalitarian government based on money, and that all of this is much more dangerous than one thinks? And it's not just a question of individual survival, Wally, but that somebody who's bored is asleep, and somebody who's asleep will not say no? I keep meeting these people. Just a few days ago, I met this man that I greatly admire. He's a Swedish physicist, Gustav Bjornstrand. And he told me that he no longer watches television, he doesn't read newspapers, and he doesn't read magazines. He's completely cut them out of his life because he really does feel that we're living in some kind of Orwellian nightmare now. And that everything that you hear now contributes to turning you into a robot. When I was at Findhorn, I met this extraordinary English tree expert who had devoted his life to saving trees. Just got back from Washington, lobbying to save the Redwoods. He's 84 years old. He always travels with a backpack because he never knows where he's going to be tomorrow. And when I met him at Findhorn, he said to me, where are you from? And I said, New York. He said, ah, New York. Yes, that's a very interesting place. Do you know a lot of New Yorkers who keep talking about the fact that they want to leave but never do? And I said, oh, yes. And he said, why do you think they don't leave? I gave him different banal theories. He said, oh, I don't think it's that way at all. He said, I think that New York is the new model for the new concentration camp, where the camp has been built by the inmates themselves, and the inmates are the guards, and they... Yes. Some weird stuff that happened in Lahaina. Firefighters responded to a small fire at the edge of town right after sunrise. They then determined the fire was contained and left, even though they knew the winds were going to be over 70 miles an hour later in the day. The fire was at full force, the water was shut off, and the sirens were never sounded. School was also canceled due to power outages. All the kids were at home while their parents were at work. Next, Lahaina was a historical district, but the governor passed an emergency proclamation in July that suspends all laws protecting the land from development. The estimated property loss is around $3.2 billion, affecting the most expensive areas. Celebrity homes that weren't damaged include Oprah Winfrey, Peter Thiel, Jeff Bezos, Mary Ellison, Steven Tyler, Clint Eastwood, Lady Gaga, Will Smith, and many more. The company's e-mortgage and cash offer USA both reached out to the affected homeowners offering all cash as is deals. Both companies were created in March of this year, one day after the other. This is melted aluminum on asphalt. Aluminum melts at 1200 degrees and asphalt melts around 300 degrees. This is weird, but similar to the cars in California. Many new insurance policies were taken out right before the catastrophe, and most of the insurance companies are now pulling out of Hawaii. And lastly, the government of Hawaii stated a goal to rebuild the entire island of Maui into the first smart island governed by AI. This was outlined in the Hawaii Digital Government Summit of 2023. Sounds pretty sus. Meanwhile, Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, listen very carefully. This is a worldwide SOS sent to me by patriots in Scotch Creek, British Columbia, where wildfires have burnt the entire town down to the ground, similar to what happened in Hawaii. Only there are now reports of UN blue helmet troops, and I have pictures of them, on the ground, and they're setting up checkpoints and they're isolating towns from the next town they're blocking supplies and everybody that's still there around 40 50 people stuck back to see what's going on they are now being confined to their properties even if their properties have been burnt to the ground 
So this is a very serious situation. We know these wildfires are not wild at all. We know they're being started by people and they are justifying not only moving people from homes, not only cutting off towns from other towns, not only buying supplies, but now we have confirmed reports of blue helmet troops that are apparently referred to as Canada Task Force One. That last part is unconfirmed, but the rest of it is confirmed, and I will also be sharing the pictures that we have found of these people. Sharing the pictures that we have found of these people. Scotch Creek, British Columbia, Canada, SOS, because it's going to be coming to your town real soon. So I just wanted to let you guys know that this, this government, this government, the American government, the Canadian government, the Ukrainian government, the German government, the French government, the UK government, Australian government, none of these governments, any of these governments that are part of the SWIFT system is your friend. None of these governments. They, uh, our government, so-called government, which is more of a political courtocracy, is at war with its own people. As you've been seeing and as you're listening to all the things that are going on now, they are at war with you, war with your family, war with your children, war with your elders. They are at war with you. These fires that are happening everywhere are not a coincidence. They are not a coincidence. And as the evidence begins to come coming out, coming out, coming out, we allegedly see all these things that are happening and it's becoming very quite evident that there is something very strange that our government is participating in. Whether it be anything dealing with the vaccinations or, or uh, the school closings, wearing masks, the shootings that are going on, uh, supplying all these different shooters with all different types of weapons, we can see that there's a lot of these things that are that are happening right now and i know the proper community you know they're they're watching their language watching their words they have to be you know government supported and all this other type of stuff but all of this you know when you when you get to the point as to where you start seeing how many food factories food uh, uh, farms that have to close, how many raids that are going on. I mean, you have the Amish that are up there uh, in Pennsylvania and many other different places that are minding their own business. And what do you have? You have the EPA and federal governments going up there and raiding these people who have been feeding their own people for quite some time. You know, they're not using vaccines and not using all kinds of things that the U.N., is trying to get their people to try to give other, uh, give other, uh, give their animals and their farms. So, and what you're finding is, is that they're going up there, shutting them down, suing them, and making them go out of business, making them lose their properties. Everything that you look at, everything that you see in the stores, is killing you. Whether it's the salt content, sugar content. All these different types of metals that are in your food, all, all the different types of carcinogens that there is adding into the food, all these thickness, all of the things that you see that are going on with you right now in the health, whether it's high blood pressure, heart disease, myocarditis, is everything that the government, the government itself, is supporting to make sure that it is making sure that the pharmaceutical companies have a permanent base of F economic wealth and superiority over your health. You have to, who do you go to, you know, when you get sick? You got to go to the doctor and the doctor gets all of their medicines from the pharmaceuticals. Most of these pharmaceuticals are oil-based pharmaceuticals meaning that they took out every single thing that was natural in the world that's able to cure any element that you have and and made you think made you think that it was horrible for you like dandelions which can help with a variety of different things in your yard and what do you do you go and you get all kinds of pesticides to kill the very thing that's going to be able to save your life just like, you know, gardens, you know, you have you have places and uh, telling you that you can't even have a garden and make natural, pure food. They're shutting down 
all different types of food industries all around all around the country. Now, in the last past few days, what I've learned is, is that pig farmers out there in California, because of all the different types of laws that are being passed, meaning that they have to make their their, their pig farm is much larger. A lot of these farmers are going to go out of business. A lot of farmers are going out of business anyway because the feed is so high. How can you live in a society that makes it almost or even uh, impossible for you to eat anything that is healthy? And if you try to buy something healthy, what it is, it's more expensive. You go into the places where they're quote-unquote minority people, you find nothing but garbage feeding into their system right the bible says what you feed your body is what you become what you eat is what you become what you spew out what you think what you talk about is what you become and then in this society the only thing that they do is reprogram your reprogram your body to be what sick sick and we all should be sick and tired of it sick and tired of it your body was designed to cure you from anything that's happening on the face of the earth. And what do they do? They develop all these viruses, unnatural viruses, and unless you pull it out there in the, in, in, in the society in order for you to get sick, right? To commit to all these wars. They commit, I mean, over almost $500 billion, close to a trillion dollars, if not a trillion dollars yet, has gone into the Ukrainian war, one of the most corrupt, or if it might be the most corrupt country in Europe. And what happens? They have lost over 400,000 um, people already. Some, some estimates are even saying more killed. At least 1.5 um uh, trillion people that have been dead or injured in this war already on the Ukrainian side alone, right? It's amazing that they have enough uh, male um, bodies to keep throwing at this war. The United States and this triad government does not care about human life. Doesn't care about human life. And I said that any time that you go out there and vote, the first thing that you need to do is do a litmus test. And a litmus test is what? Do they care about human beings? Do they care about human life? Anybody that supports Monsanto, anybody that supports GMOs, anybody that supports anything that is going to put something inside of your body that's going to make you sicker should not be able to be elected to our government, to this government, because this government is not yours. This government is at war with you, at war with you. They are physically at war with you. They aren't doing anything to make your life better. They're, they're unloading taxes on you or uploading taxes on you to the point as to where you can't even live every day. Right? I mean, they say you're supposed to get eight hours worth of sleep a day. So that's eight hours. Right? Then you're supposed to go to work for eight hours every day. Some people go to work for nine, some ten, some twelve hours. That leaves anywhere from eight to five hours left during the day and you haven't even eaten yet. You haven't even eaten yet. You haven't even eaten. No time to enjoy life. No time to look up into the sky and see all the chemtrails that they're pouring all over you. This government is at war with you. It is a corporate government. It is not a constitutional government. It is a corporate government. And the corporate government has no value for you whatsoever. This is the reason why they say AI is so so uh, so so dangerous, because AI is going to be taking most of the majority of the job come 2030. 2030, they're estimating, they're estimating, almost two billion to five billion people to be killed off the face of this planet. They don't expect the majority of you to be here after 2030. After 2030. And now with the, this side of the system, what this side of the system is saying, what this side of the system is doing now is saying that there's another pandemic that is right on the horizon. Closing down schools in California and some in Texas. What you are seeing is a war against you. And this is the reason why when I tell the so-called African-American community that has been renamed so many different times, that African Americans are not are not Africans. They are indigenous beings of the Americas. 
And what they need to do is walk out of the system and go back into the system upon which they came from. So that that way we all will have another place for us to be able to go and hide. Thank God they are being challenged right now by the BRICS systems. Because a lot of those people that are part of BRICS are sick and tired of the Swiss system. Sick and tired of this, of this triad, of this new world order that's trying to take over the world and kill most of the people off the planet. Now what I'm saying is for the people of this world to understand that we should not be at any wars. Not at all. That we need to check our governments. Check it. Check our governments. Here, we, here uh, in the States, not in Canada, but in the States, what they have, they have, I believe it's the Fourth Amendment. And what, what that amendment is, is the right to bear arms. The right to bear arms against a government that may be working against its own people. And what we have to do now as citizens of this world, as, as beings on this world, is rise up. Rise up. And just like, just like these African nations, the so-called African nations, just like they are now, once again, just like what they did in the 60s and 70s, began to start throwing out a lot of these former colonial powers that have been using and just lambasting their whole entire system just for their selfish needs. Niger right now has kicked out France and is refusing now to give them what they need for their nuclear power plants. More power for them. The whole entire SWIFT system, NATO, is saying that we need to go to war in Africa as well. Anywhere where anybody is trying to be independent from this system, they're trying to destroy. That's why they destroy Gaddafi. Gaddafi is bringing out the dinar. That's why they destroy Saddam Hussein, because Saddam Hussein was getting ready to change it over to another system like the dinar and be on the gold system. And that's the reason why they don't like China. They don't like Russia, because Russia and China, what they've done through the BRICS system, that is India, that is Brazil, China, Russia, South Africa, and now five or six other different nations, Saudi Arabia, the Arab Emirates. Iran, they are uh, uh, Argentina. What they are doing now is making sure, is making sure that they are getting themselves onto another standard and off the oil standard. This is what we need to do all around. This is what we need to do here in the states. They said that if, uh, and in Canada, in the Americas, this is what we need to do to be independent. We need to start planting our own food. We need to start growing our own chickens, harvesting our own chickens. A lot of these companies, uh, if you haven't heard, they're shutting down more plants, more processing plants. They're shutting down more processing plants, which means that there's going to be less food in your stores. It is, it is, it is a horrible crazy type situation that we're in and what we need to do i'm telling you you hear it all the time everywhere you go you hear it we cannot find proper food for us to be able to eat and when you look at just look at your ingredients look at the ingredients and in anything that you pick up off the uh, off the shelf of the stores it's either G, it's either filled with gmos pesticides those are the first two things you find out. And then the other things are all kinds of fillers and things that will destroy your whole entire blood system, your immune system. We need to get off of this whole entire system when we turn back into the system upon which we came out of. And I'm talking specifically to the indigenous Americans. It's very important for that. And the whole entire world needs to support the American indigenous Americans the American, the, the, the American Indians and in going back into the system from which these colonial powers came from, which they came from to try to destroy everything that were that 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 we were once a part of. They have big things planned for all of us. They got big things planned for all of us. And these big things that they have planned are not good for the average human being that's walking on the face of this earth. Remember, in the Georgia Guidestones, before they blew them up, they only won 500 million people left. At max, maybe 700 million. 
There's close to 9 billion people on the planet right now. That means the majority of us will not be here. And they're looking in between 20, 2025 and 2028. They're hoping that everything that they've done to your immune system fails you so they can make sure that many of you are just not here. It's hurtful to say. Hurtful to say. But the predator is your government. The prey or the people upon which they're overseeing. The predator is the government. The prey is, is the individuals upon which they're overseeing. And this is all over the world. This is all over the world, especially for the SWIFT system. And I'm talking about this Western system that we have here. Because a lot of the other systems said that they do not, especially the BRIC system, they said that they do not want to participate in the culling of mankind. Culling of humans. Culling of you. You have to stand up and make sure that they, you know, that, that they do not call a whole bunch more people because they're trying to kill you. They're trying to even change the very, the very dynamic of your DNA through this synthetic mRNA that they got going on right now. Do you know a lot of these people who got the shots? Do you know what allegedly that was said is that uh, this mRNA keeps working in your system, keeps, keeps turning you into a synthetic being? And the more that, and the more that it, it, it keeps uh, replicating within your system and integrating with the natural system that you have, the more synthetic that you become. And if it takes over 50% of your body, you become the property of the people who, who gave you that vaccine. You become property. It's insane when you take a look at all the things that are happening. Insane. We got fires now that are going on in uh, California, Montana, Texas, Washington, Arizona, New Jersey, New Mexico, Colorado, Oregon, o Idaho, Florida, Mississippi, Nevada, Wyoming, Oklahoma, Utah. We got all of Canada basically on fire. Challenge. On fire. And I want you to really, really listen to this next thing because it is it is very, very, very interesting as to how all of this is relating to these 15-minute cities. It is insane. Insane. Texas, there's a fire around this area, which is close to Austin. Live from Austin, Texas, the Smart City Challenge. There's fires in Washington. Lawmakers from Washington State push for a Smart City Bill in Congress. What's outside of Phoenix, Arizona? Scottsdale. City of Scottsdale. Smart City Strategic Roadmap. Wildfires in New Jersey. New Jersey Smart Cities Working Group. Fires in New Mexico. Smart City Planned in New Mexico. Wildfires near Portland, Oregon. Smart Cities Planned for Portland, Oregon. Wildfires in Florida. Smart City Initiatives for Orlando. Wildfires in Mississippi. Smart cities plan for Mississippi. And this isn't just happening in America. There's fires in Greece. Smart cities plan for Greece. Y'all, I could have gone on and on with this, but I think you see the pattern. And what people don't understand that Maui also had passed the legislation to develop a smart city. And in these smart cities, they call them 15-minute cities, so that means that they're trying to corral everybody in these little tiny cities. This goes along with Agenda 21, Agenda 30, and Agenda 50. And if you just read through Agenda 21, you'll understand exactly where they're going. And if you read Agenda 30, you're going to see that you are the enemy. They want you gone. They want you dead. They don't want you here. And the only thing that I can say right now is that we need to stand up. All of us need to stand up in our respective areas. If you're so-called part of this political system anywhere, then you need to make sure that you are gathering the right components in your area to take your system back and to bring it back into a constitutional mode and not a corporate mode. If you are of what you call an 
uh, American Indian, an Aboriginal Indigenous American, then you need to really take on the plight of the right of return so that you can return back into the system upon which you came out of before they came here. It's extremely important for you to understand who and what you are and, and, and your purpose here on this planet. Here today, right now, we were born to be able to do what other generations were not able to do. They came close to doing it in the 60s. But here today, we need to draw the line because the line is being drawn. And what we don't take care of today, nature will take care of us tomorrow. Because we do have the carbon-12, carbon-7 transformation happening right now. There is more UV rays hitting this planet and changing the carbon makeup of everything that we know of right now than ever before in history. Think about where you are right now. Understand that this government is not your friend. Understand that, that if there was an emergency in your area, the government would not be there to save you. Understand that we are suffering emergencies right now. The emergency is food because food is one of the most substantial things that you need in order for you to stay alive. And they're culling all of the meat. They're destroying all of the plants. They're even trying to vaccinate vegetables. They put this thing called a peel on the vegetables. Now, a peel, the closest thing that I can think about that is the bloom that goes on a fresh egg. And when you have a bloom on a fresh egg, an egg can stay out of a refrigerator and this on the shelf for over three for about three months. This appeal, they're trying to do the same thing with it. So then that way they coat all the all the all the all the uh, all the all the vegetables and all the fruits. But the problem with the stuff with the peel is that it's not natural, and they're not really telling you what you're actually putting into your body. It's dangerous. Look it up. Look everything up. Don't trust anything that you hear or see anything out there. Research everything. Become alive. Become awake. Because it is up to our generation, not the generation next generation, but we are the last generation. We are the last so-called humans to be walking on the face of the earth, unadulterated. We are the last generation. And if we don't participate in doing what needs to be done to create or stop this evilness from creating what is being created on this planet, we're going to have to answer for that. We're going to have to answer for that because all of the children that are missing now in Maui, where are they? Why did they tell them all to, to stay home from school on the day of that fire? They claim because the water was shut off. Where are they? Missing. They said there's over 800, 800 adults that are missing, over 2,000 uh, children that are missing. Where are they? So different from what they did in New Orleans when they shut off and blocked everything off and made sure that nobody was able to leave the area. Does that make any sense? And then they called the so-called indigenous Americans that they transported over there. They called them refugees as they were bringing them into Texas, California, and uh, Minnesota, and Colorado, and other places around the United States. Why are they blocking off people up there in um, Canada right now? In cities that have been burnt down to the ground, they won't let, they won't let them out and won't other, let other people in. Does this sound like this is your government that's working for you? Does this sound like this is the government that's supposed to be protecting you? This is the government that you're paying for? No, we are paying for our own demise through our taxes. We're paying through our own demise when we buy their 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 poison food, their poison meat. And now now the thing that they got is all this fake meat that's going around, growing it from cells that can come from anything. I've seen an article where they were having a human taste, a human meat taste testing, trying to find out where this meat actually was growing from, what cell was it growing from. And they were actually talking about how this, this guy must have come from an office. They took cells from people who were uh, in the field working as um, construction workers, 
uh, military people, office people, uh, people who just stayed home. And they're talking about how the tenderness of this meat is or how rough the meat is, how gamey it is. And they're trying to figure out where did this meat actually come from? Who was it grown from? Lab cell grown meat from humans. They have it down there that McDonald's and a lot of these other fast food restaurants, a lot of these uh, 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 store brought meats have human DNA mixed in with the meat. And then the meat that you're eating in the stores, most of that meat, a lot of that meat allegedly is expired. And what they do is that they take the expired meat. Or the meat that's about to expire, that's all that's all brown, and they dip it into more blood. They redden it up a little bit, repackage it, and then put it out there. And the meat that can't be saved, what they do is they uh, they do the same thing, and then they put uh, all kinds of seasoning on it to make it look advertising. And then they charge you more money for that dead meat that's going to be rotting in your system. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong to eat meat or anything like that, but you got to eat stuff that's going to be healthy for you, and this system is not feeding anything. They're not offering anything that is really healthy for you. Go out there and see if you can find a watermelon that has a 9 in front of it instead of a 40 or a 3. The 9 means that it's growing organically. The 40 means that it's grown organically, but it could be GMO, but it's also grown with a lot of pesticides. Most of the fruit that you eat are grown with so much pesticides that even if you wash it off, if the if if the, if, if the lining of that fruit is um is thin, it it gets into the fruit itself. You can't wash that out, and it goes into your system. They're killing us, and they're taking the slow approach at it. Most of it, they're killing us. This government is not for us. Is for what you call an elite. And those people have sold their souls to see if that they can get, that they, that they might be able to get something out of it. They can end anything that they want to end, just like rap music. Rap music is coming to an end. From what I've heard, that they're not, a, they're not going to be looking for any more rap artists. They're not going to give them any more content. Uh, contracts, which means that you're going to start seeing rap music go right down the hill, which should have went right down the hill long after 1985, 89, the 90s, maybe. They took a beautiful art form and destroyed it, just like they do everything else that they have. I don't know if these people are human or not that are doing this to this planet, but what they've done was is so horrific. So horrific. That is even hard to explain on a radio show. All I can say is that these these things, these entities, these beings, whatever they are, that do not care about human existence. They only care about human death and they're not your friends. They're not your friends at all. It's a governmental system that is a corporate system. And in every corporate system, they have managers, supervisors, and people that oversee other people. And that's what we have here. Governors are like managers. The people in the Senate are like managers. And then all these people in the House of Representatives and stuff like that are like supervisors. And then they appoint a president. Every corporation has a president and then they have a board they have a board the board is the one that appoints the president that's the reason why you can't trust any more of these elections you can't trust any more of these elections because these elections are all done through a corporate board they're not done for you It seems like you're electing people, but that these elections are actually really selections. Right? Al Gore won that presidential election when he won. And what did they do? They gave it to George Bush because they knew what they were going to be doing. So all these things that we're looking at right now, just remember that, you know, this government is not for you. The right of return 
for the American indigenous, American Indian, the Aboriginal, going back into the system upon which they came out of is probably the only hope for most of the people of this world. All others, if they're participating in this system the way that they should be participating, make sure that you're electing people to bring you back into a constitutional government, not a democracy. This is not a democracy. This is a it's supposed to be a constitutional republic is what we're supposed to be in. And this constitutional republic was designed after the Ganeshigawa, the great law of peace that was operating on this land as well before they came. So I'd like to say from my family to yours, may you find the love and peace in your heart to be able to do the things that you have to do, protect your family, protect yourself. Look at every label before you buy something. And don't trust this government. Because it's not your government. It's a government for what you would call the elite. This is Dark Matter Radio. Have a good night.